Jesus that did it in person, you have that same spirit on the, in, on the inside of you. Not only raising the dead, even in regards to the physical, you have the capacity, you have the ability to raise the dead in regards to circumstances, in regards to situations in other people's lives. You have the power within your mouth to speak a word, to cause that which is dead to come to life. This is why that we as ministers of reconciliation never agrees with the circumstance that we see or that we hear. But when we come in the midst, because we are atmosphere changers, we have the responsibility to change the atmosphere that we may usher in the kingdom into the situation. That's our responsibility. Your responsibility, even as that God has spoke to Ezekiel in Ezekiel 37, he asked him the question, can these dead bones live? God is saying that any situation that you find yourself in, that there are dead bones, you begin to prophesy. Right, yes. You begin to speak a word. Yes. You begin to put forth the word. You're not waiting on God. God is waiting on you. He's waiting on you to speak a word, yes. to bring life into every situation. Yes. So now, no matter what it is that is dead, no matter if it's dealing with your body, no matter if it's dealing with your finances, no matter if it's dealing with a job, no matter if it's dealing with employment, no matter what it is, you have the power to resurrect. Yes. Yes. Because the power of the resurrection resides on the inside of you. Amen. Remember what, what Jesus had said to Martha and Mary in regards to, to Lazarus. He was trying to, he was, he was attempting to give them a new revelation. Yes. And when they said that, when Jesus came to them and said that he is only sleeping, and they said to him, well, we know that he will rise in the resurrection. He, had to, he was trying to give them a revelation that you are looking at the resurrection. Yes. I'm not talking about the sweet by and by. Get out of the future. Begin to live in the now. And begin to bring the now of the kingdom into your situation. Yes. The resurrection exists now. Yes. The power to resurrect. The power to live according to his principles and his kingdom. It, it, it exists now. Oh my God. So you have the power to, to uh, raise the dead. You have the power to cleanse those who have leprosy. And you have the power to drive out demons. Mm. Jesus put it this way, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You have the power and authority. If it's allowed, it's not allowed by God. It's not allowed by the kingdom of heaven. It's allowed by you. So if there is something in your life space, if there is something in your spirit of influence, if there is something within your home, if there is something within your community, within your city, or within your state that you want to see change, you begin to effectually bring about change. First of all, starting with your prayer closet, mm -hmm. and then speaking forth the word of God in regards to that situation. You put pressure on, you see the world is putting, trying to put pressure on us. The kingdom of darkness is trying to put pressure on us. But it's time for us to stop being on the defensive and start being offensive and start putting pressure on the kingdom of darkness. Letting the kingdom of darkness know that, hey, there's a king on board. There's a king that's coming to the midst. Royalty is in here now. Whatever was allowed, I allow it no more. Whatever was happening that, that caused this neighborhood to be the way it is, I allow it no more. Whatever sickness that has been trying to attack my body, I put the pressure of prayer upon it, so therefore it cannot be allowed anymore. Whatever has been attacking my wallet, I put the pressure of prayer upon it, it cannot be attacked any longer. You have the authority. Yes. God's desire is for us never to succumb to the spirit of Laodicea, Jesus. to the spirit of deception. To the spirit of compromise. That's simply what it is. It's the spirit of compromise. Churches begin to arise to your rightful place in the kingdom. Begin to exemplify the kingdom. Don't just go on the physical numbers. But go back in your prayer closet and ask the Father, are you pleased with what I'm doing? Put things back in structure. Put things back in order. Even in regards to those of you that are, that are over the ministry, no matter what your title is, Begin to set things in order first within your own home. Let your spouse know that you still love them and that you're not putting the church before them. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible puts it this way in Ephesians 5 chapter. He says to love your wives even as, as Christ loved the church. Yes. Mm -hmm. He did not say love the church first. Right. Go ahead and talk he about said love your wives right. or, you, or you females that are pastors, love your husbands. Right. They are not to be put on the back burner. Right. Too many of our spouses are suffering in silence. Why? Because we're putting everything before them. We're putting the church before them. We put the members before them. We put the work of the ministry before them and then forgetting about our spouses. It should not be so. It is out of order. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
For the first institution was the institution of family. Uh, it was the institution of marriage. It was the first institution that was created. It was not the church. So put things back in order. Spend time with your children, ministers of the gospel. Take your spouse on a date every now and again. Do things that, that, that you see, these things are pleasing in the sight of God. Stop trying to, you are not junior Holy Spirit. You can't do everything. You weren't designed or called to do everything. You have a specific call for a specific purpose and for a specific time. But within that time, within that purpose, and within that call, first things still come first. We understand God comes first. But then it is your spouse, yes. your family. Yes. See what I'm saying? Then ministry. Mm -hmm. Set things in order. So many divorces within the kingdom, within the church, should not be so. Yeah. But most of the time, the reason why it is, things being out of order. Saving the world, losing our family. Shouldn't that be so? <clears throat> Put God first in everything that we say and do. Amen? Amen. 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 Father, we thank you on this morning for your word. Yes, my God. We thank you, God, for this prophetic message that has gone forth, Lord God, to the world. Because your desire, Lord God, is to see us in our rightful place within the yes, kingdom. Jesus. Now, Father God, we repent yes, my God. of every sin of commission, yes, my every God. sin of omission. Yes, we repent, Lord God, of being out of order. Yes, we repent, Lord God, of not adhering, Lord God, to the promptings of your spirit. Mm -hmm. Even when you call us in the mid and hour and you desire for us to get up oh, and to spend time with you, Father God, we repent. Mm -hmm. We repent, Lord God, of not turning off the TV or the radio or anything else when you are prompting us to steal away, Lord God, to hear what the spirit has to say to us, God. We repent of yes, these things. Cleanse us, Lord God, yes, by your blood, yes, by your power, Lord yes, God. Lord. Father God, make us, Lord God, help us, God, to be the people that you have called us to be, Lord God. A people, Lord God, that is, that is wise, that walks circumspectly, and that is fools. Yes. But, Father God, you have called us to a greater glory. Yes. You have called us to a greater dimension. Yes. You have called us, Lord God, to a greater sphere within your kingdom. Yes. Now, Father God, we thank you for endowing us, Lord God, once again with your power, yes. with your anointing, with your authority, Lord God. That we may, Lord God, usher in, Lord God, the kingdom presence, yes. the kingdom reality, and kingdom authority within the earth realm. We thank you, God. We lift up every minister, Lord God, yes, that has God. stood, Lord God, for you, Lord God, that has not compromised. Yes, yes. Oh, God, bless them, Lord God, in their coming in and their going out, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Cause them, Lord God, Lord Jesus, to be uncovered, Lord God, that the world may see that you never leave yourself without a witness in the mighty name of Jesus. And those, Lord God, of us, Lord God, that have not adhered to your kingdom, those of us that have compromised, Lord God, Father God, grant repentance in the name of Jesus. Cause them, Lord God, to turn to you. Cause them, Lord God, have to be subject to worldly organizations, yes. to worldly desires, yes. to worldly, Lord God, plots and plans to bring, Lord God, an ineffectiveness to your church. But cause them once again, Lord God, to turn to you who is the author and the finisher of their faith in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We bless you, honor. We bless you. We honor you, Father, for what you have done and what you are doing yes. within our midst, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We thank you, God. Amen. Amen.